Um, okay, so let's get started. Um, so today we're going to be talking about simulation and, and stuff like that, but um, I want to give you some announcements first. Um, I want all of you guys to please fill out the student feedback and progress form. We did get 13 responses, which is wonderful, but we have 168 of you guys. So we would really love to hear from more of you because it's very helpful. It helps us improve our content um, so that we can better, you know, serve you and help you guys improve. And, you know, again, I'm also asking, like, send me your teammates' email addresses if you haven't already. Um, to those who have, thank you. Um, you're on the list now. I hope you're getting my emails. If you're not getting my emails, let me know. And the, another announcement we have is that I've created an educator form that we will be sending out um, shortly. So what is an educator form? An educator form is uh, we're screening people who will help us teach you guys or help you guys facilitate um, and learn more about Astro B and like this whole process. Um, you know, between me and Ms. Anser, we don't have enough resources to help all of you guys individually. So we need to get some educators. So we are trying our best to improve and um, we don't want anyone to feel lost. I can tell from you know Slack and from like the general emails that I get that some of you guys are feeling lost. We don't want that. We don't want anybody to fall through the cracks. So we're trying our best to serve you guys and meet your needs, meet you where you are. So um, the next thing I want to say to make it easier for us to help you guys, please join us on Slack. I sent out the link in one of my last emails. If you didn't get it, you can write it in the chat right now. And if you don't know how to use Slack, let me know too. I can give you a tutorial, no problem. I do see that a lot of you guys are, are using the Slack already, so that's great. I saw a lot of troubleshooting and problem solving action, which is wonderful. You guys are great. Um, I see, um, you know, I, I see that Robin, you help out everyone. Like, it's so wonderful. I see Shudipto on there. I see Tasneem asking questions. And so many of you, I'm really sorry if I didn't mention everybody, but, you know, these are the people I see um, interacting on the Slack most often. So thank you so much for your input um, and your dedication. It's this, this is what is going to make our program with all of you improve and get better. This is how Bangladesh can win in phase two when we actually, you know, join the actual competition in December. These are the makings of something great. So, great. <laughs> so next, I want to show you some of the results that we got from the feedback form. And also to encourage those of you who haven't filled out the form to uh, give more of your input. So I see that some of you guys did not get, um, I'm looking at the chat right now. Some of you guys didn't get the form. Okay, so can you guys write your email addresses in the chat for me so I can double check and make sure that you're on the list? because maybe you're not. Um, and if you're not, then it's my fault or something that happened in the interwebs. Thank you, okay, yeah. Send me your email addresses. I will add them afterwards. So um, thanks, okay. So I wanna show you some of the results that we got from our feedback form. So it looks like most of you guys are enjoying the program so far. Um, and we hope to, that you enjoy it even more as time progresses. And if you don't enjoy it, you can also let us know about that too, because this form feedback is completely anonymous. There's a question at the end that's optional. You can answer what team you're from, but you don't have to. So if you hate it and you want us to improve something, you can let us know, okay? 
complete honesty is going to help us get better. And we'll get better together. So the next question we asked was about the website. Um, and it looks like you guys like the website so far, so that's great. <laughs> um, and most of you use Windows, and only some of you use a Mac, which is what I expected. Um, I Even I use a Windows myself. So, all right. And half of you, about half of you, have participated in a robotics program before, which is cool. And then the other half haven't, so congratulations in participating in your first um, robotics-based program. So most of you said you were able to install Android Studio, but there were some of you who haven't been able to. So if you still haven't been able to install Android Studio at this point in time, please contact me via email or Slack. I would prefer Slack because I'm trying to get um, people to use that more. So um, yeah, let us know about that because that's the first step. If you can't, if you can't install Android Studio, then you can't get to the uh, main components of the program. So we really want to make sure everyone at least is able to get to this point. All right. So some of you are comfortable coding in Android Studio, and then some of you aren't, which is fine. Everyone's going to be at different levels. That's how most education is. You know, students are going to be at different places. Our job is to help you figure out how to get to a similar level. Um, and we're trying to build programs that will help with that. So. I asked you about how much experience you have with each of these languages. So, you know, some of you are don't have any experience with these languages, which is fine. Um, we're, as I've been saying, you know, we're trying to think of ways to bring you guys up to speed. And some of you said you have a lot of experience in these languages. So, hey. If you do, we'd love for you to help us make some video tutorials about these languages. And if you want to do something like that, and you want to be featured on the STEMX 365 YouTube page, which JAXA also sees, then contact me. Let me know. All right, so it looks like most of you guys have read the program materials, which is good. Um, if you haven't, please read them. That's the basis for getting started. And it looks like most of you guys enjoy the student meetings, so that's good. That's great. Thank you. And if you don't, let me know that too. And OK, so I want to talk a bit about the programming manual. We know it's a work in progress, OK? There's a lot of things that um, probably aren't written clearly. And, you know, JAXA is working to update their programming manual every day. Um, I've seen a couple of versions even in the last month. So keep that in mind. It is a work in progress. If you see errors, things that don't make sense, let us know. And then we'll tell JAXA about it, too, so they can fix it. One second. OK. And if you have suggestions, for improvement, um, then you know, let us know that too. And then we can make our own version that's going to be for Bangladesh, which is even better, right? And we know that the simulator is slow. Um, you know, it's also a work in progress. Um, there have been a couple of different versions of this simulator. There's been 1.0, there's been 2.0. I think what you guys are on now is 2.1. So Astro B is completely new. It's going to be slow, but that's what you need to use in the meantime. And Mizan Sir will talk more about the simulator and like you know, the slowness and like why it's important to use it. He'll go over that stuff. This is just stuff that I want to tell you right now off the bat that I've noticed. Um, actually, I can tell you a little more about it. So the reason that the simulator, using the simulator is so important it's because that's how we can monitor your progress. 
if you don't use the online simulator, then we don't know how you're doing. And it's not going to come up on um, JAX's leaderboard. So it's really important to use it. Don't focus on making a standalone right now. It's try to use the online simulator. Uh, some more people are entering. Admit. OK. And use preliminary round simulator 2.1. There's a couple of versions, right? You'll notice in the drop-down box, there's 1.0, 2.0, 2.1. Use 2.1. And don't use the final round simulator. That has completely different QR codes, so it's not even going to work. And um, Jack says using that for other purposes right, purposes right now, so um, it will interfere with their program planning. So please use the preliminary round simulator. And don't get hung up on the scores. We have a lot of time to improve. We just want you guys to get used to the simulation environment right now. So now I will, um, oh, I just realized you guys couldn't see the slide. So this is all the stuff I just said, but here it is in a slide again. Sorry about that. Um, you can read it really quick. I'll give you a minute to read it again. OK. So now I'm going to ask Mizan Sir to say a bit about you know everything. And make sure you keep the poll everywhere site open because we're going to be using that later on in the meeting today. Um, so keep that browser tab open as well. So, please answer. <laughs> Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. So how are you all? Assalamu alaikum, sir. Wa alaikum salam. It looks like you guys are working hard. And uh, thank you so much. Thank you so, so much for your hard work and sincerity and your enthusiasm. This is all we need. You, are, you guys are doing great. Uh, I would like to mention some of your name here. If I miss somebody's name, please forgive me. Afnan, Bishai, Hamim, Rabin, Shudipta, Tasnim, Razin, and also our uh, Argo. Everybody is working hard, everybody is sincere and helping each other, which is really great. This is the uh, core idea of this program. It is not only about learning programming or satellite programming or robot programming. There's a lot of application you'll see in the internet. They teach robotics. You can go to YouTube. You can learn. You can uh, learn so many ways. But this program is a little different. This program will teach you how to help each other, how to work collaboratively, and how to build the team. And uh, finally, how to win the game. So I am keep saying this again and again because this is important for STEM education, which is the core idea of MIT, STEM education, and also JAXA, and NASA also. So they want you to collaborate, share information, help each other. That way, in the future, you will be able to help this world. Because in this world these days, people are very selfish. They don't, they don't want to help others. Everybody is thinking about themselves, individual growth. But this is 
this is not the way we should be. Uh, we have to make our uh, world uh, easy for everybody. And it will become easy for everybody if we help each other. Like when you were little, your parents help you, even in walking, looking at something, doing some math, doing uh, reading something. Your parents helped, your teachers uh, helped, everybody helped you. But why can't you help now when everybody helped you once and now you have to, you have to help others? So I'm very glad that uh, in the, I, I, I see um, Slack communication, uh, I see some of you are very helpful, which is great. And that help will make you more resourceful. And I believe with this helpful ten tendency, you will get there. I, a lot of people ask me, how can I go to uh, NASA? How, how can I go to M MIT? The people who are doing this, who try to learn and help others, those people can go NASA easily and MIT and other so organizations. About collaboration. Yeah, so this is very important and keep it up. Um, and I told you that uh, before that JAXA knows about it and they want you to help each other. They, and they don't want me to help. They are, my job is to give you guide, to give you platform, that's all. And if there's any very critical issues, and let's say your simulation is not uh, working at all, then communicate with me. I, I will make uh, that to happen. So, um, and in the future, what I'm thinking, some of you are very new in this um, area. Uh, we, we've been thinking, we have been thinking how to improve this system. So don't worry about it. Don't panic. I want you to enjoy it. It's just like a soccer game or cricket game. It's a game. It's not like, uh, don't feel shy. If you don't know, just tell me. Tell us, so we, we are here to help you. So uh, I still now I I I know I don't know a lot of lot of things, uh, but every day I'm learning new things. Every day, believe me, I, every day I'm I'm learning new things. So don't feel shy, and I want you to use Slack as much as possible and any question comes not email slack i want you to use slack and i want to see every single student on the slack otherwise our effort is um, meaningless like i'm spending time saba is spending her time we are totally voluntarily. So yet you guys have to take it very seriously. We, so use Slack and try to communicate with each other. And, um, and also try to use the feedback form. Uh, feedback is very helpful. We received some feedbacks uh, from you and which will help us to improve our quality, our website, our teaching method, and most of the most of the idea comes from students like you, who are very young, energetic. They can think um, differently than than olders. So we expect you to um, suggest and um, uh, try to use feedback form, and also. The Astrobe uh, is very new. You, you all know that. It is very new before uh, it was Spheres. Um, Spheres is not in the ISS anymore. But 
honestly, spheres was very strong. Um, we are trying to improve Astro B close to spheres. But in the future, uh, you will be happy to hear that in the future, in the STEMX platform, you'll be able to learn spheres also. Because spheres is the real satellite. It has all the stuff that satellite has. So right now, um, I, I feel uh, like you guys are very lucky that you are using Astro, which is very new. You, you saw that Chris Cassidy is on the International Space Station, and uh, he's a very famous astronaut. Uh, maybe you, will, you guys will be working with Chris Cassidy in the future. Uh, maybe he will be helping uh, you to upload your code to the Astro B, then run the Astro B in, inside the uh, International Space Station. So be excited. Uh, it is it is very interesting project, and uh, uh, don't get frustrated with the uh, simulator environment. Uh, like everybody is working, NASA is working, MIT is working, JAX is working to improve the backend of the simulator. And this uh, actual honestly, for to run this Astro B backend, you need a lot of horsepower. You need a lot of energy, not a lot of uh, uh, CPU, memory, whatever you say. So right now it is just a new uh, simulation environment and they started with uh, um, not online version simulator gazebo. They started with uh, uh, like RVs and gazebo, which is not really online based. Um, I'm personally working on it to make it online um, in the future. Uh, so it needs a lot of work. And uh, right now in the programming manual, it says it takes 20 minutes and maybe it more than that. And don't get frustrated. Just uh, when you upload your sim uh, APK and just wait and do something else and uh, you have to uh, you have to stay with this. Uh, we, uh, there's no way to improve right at this moment. But honestly, uh, everybody is working. Everybody knows that this is slow. Uh, so I recommend you uh, guys use uh, the um, JAXA's online simulator because it has all the information there like disturbance tolerance all the things they included in the jaxas simulation uh, backend so if you run in the local simulation that's good somebody uh, tried hard and uh, did video demo so i really appreciate it um, shudipta you did very good job and razin you did very good job and uh, other also trying um, like uh, uh, sorry I forget Tasneem I see she's also trying hard and others also trying hard which is great because after August 18 uh, the JAXA simulation will not be available for you so after that you'll be using your local simulator although it doesn't have everything um uh, so until august 18 try to use jaxa's simulation environment as much as possible we have to take advantage of their simulation environment i will try with jaxa uh for giving you more access to, uh, i don't think it's, it'll be possible because um there are a lot of countries there in the final uh, round right now and simulation and moment is will be very busy and everybody in the JAXA they are very busy with helping other countries so I feel proud that you'll be working with so many intellectuals astronaut scientists from Australia UAE uh, which is United Arab Emirates Japan Singapore, Thailand, Indonesia, Malaysia, they all are 
working with you guys. So be excited. It's 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 just very very um, like um, good opportunity for you to learn. And um, like I said, don't get frustrated. Every day I'm working on my programming and I pull my hair every day. I sometimes I feel like I'm lost. I I throw uh, my drinking bottle. I throw the, the different stuff. So programming always challenging. Programming always challenging, and frustration will make you better. Like you, know, I um, I do painting also. In painting, there are a lot of challenge. Um, your sometimes your color doesn't mix well. Sometimes the way you think your your painting doesn't come out uh, that way. So you get frustrated, but you don't stop yourself. You'll you'll keep trying, trying, trying. Then one day you'll say, "Oh my God, what I did! I have done this." Then after two, three weeks, or three months, or six months, you'll you'll look back and you'll say, "Oh my God, I did this! It was possible for me." You will surprise. So it is very important. You have to try, 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 and don't get frustrated. This is not the age to get frustrated. You'll be seeing a lot of struggle in the future. So I want you to enjoy and use Jaxa's web simulator as much as possible and use 2.1 version which uh, Jax uh, said again and again to me that Bangladesh should be using 2.1 and not not uh, uh, final phase uh, simulator. And if you go to preliminary uh, phase, you'll see only the highest version is 2.1. Use that, not uh, lower version, 2.1. So next two weeks, I would like to see uh, you to go to the um, Jax's website, and uh, I like I'd like to see more teams. Yeah, so the previous one. No, go up. Yeah. So uh, I went to Jax's website and found that. These are the teams they're working, uh, they're doing simulation, and I would like to see more. Uh, otherwise, JAXA will remove those teams. If they don't see they're not working, they're not doing simulation, they don't want to uh, keep their data in their database. And um, so be careful. Try to use their simulation as much as possible. Other, otherwise, they'll remove it and uh, I have to add other teams. So this is important. And and Saba mentioned also that don't get frustrated with uh, your result, D or F or E. Um, it will improve slowly. And um, uh, we'll get there. Don't worry about it. So... Um, Feedback is very important, I, I mentioned, and Sab also mentioned. Feedback will make us better, and uh, and uh, this is teamwork. And our, our website, I say our, it is your website. It is not Mizan or Sabah's website. It is your website. You are presenting to the JAXA, NASA, uh, MIT, and all other space organization um, because Australia is looking at it um, Singapore Thailand Japan um, all these countries they are looking at this they they go go to the um, JAXA website then when they see STEMX 365 they click it and they see the activities so it is very important to improve our site but since JAXA want their own country's language. We started with Bengali, but we have a plan to make it English. 
um, and one day you will see English version. Um, and like I mentioned that <coughs> simulator version, simulator, uh, it was my original uh, thought that, yeah, we'll make si uh, online simulator just like Zero Robotics. Zero Robotics, I created online simulation, which is when you click uh, simulate, it takes uh, maybe maximum 30 seconds. So I would like to see the same simulator in the STEMX platform. And um, that uh, takes a lot of work. I'm working on it. Um, then um, I got feedback like we need more demos and tutorial that we're uh, working at it. And Saba mentioned, uh, if you guys know any programming, um, anybody, like anybody can uh, create a video. And uh, if somebody knows like Python or Java or C++, make video, make videos. Uh, there, uh, no, no problem with that. Just create videos and we'll publish that on the uh, STEMX website. And it will be great if you do video with your own language, just like Shudita did and Razin did, great job. And uh, and some will do in English in the future. But try to focus that uh, when your video uh, talk very clearly and uh, like simple language uh, that will make uh, the video popular. And um, then um, like I, I showed you that we, on the Jaxos website, I can see the uh, team perform performance and uh, uh, I will in the future in the STEMX side, we'll pull all those data and uh, you'll be able to see your performance there also. But it will be only visible to the team who participated. Um, then um, team names and participant names. Uh, that also in my plan to add. Uh, believe me, that code is already there. I just have to uh, make some uh, unit test. Uh, my, our uh, test lead is very ex uh, busy with other testing. So uh, hopefully, because um, I want to be that part to be tested very carefully. So um, you'll, you'll see that uh, in the future. So uh, the plan, um, like we have to have a plan. So our plan is like in August 18, uh, JAXA simulation platform will be available until August 18, August 18, 2020. So that is our final date, date uh, for using a JAXA simulation platform. After that, you will not get any access, sorry, because they will be using their uh, simulation back end for final uh, program. So, which is which is in one sense is good. So, after uh, August 18, and then uh, before we start the uh, start organizing the second phase competition, uh, during that time we have to have a lot of activities. Like um, after 18, you guys will be working on stand alone simulator. And uh, Robin, um, Shudipta, Razin, they already worked on it. So we, you guys will get a lot of help and we'll have um, educator. Educator will uh, help you. Um, then, um, then it will be easier for you guys to learn how to build this uh, local simulator. Uh, the problem which um, Shudipta and other faced, you don't have to face those uh, problems because they already found the solution and they can help you. Um, and uh, we'll try to help more. And um, in the future, I'm planning 
to do some uh, tea tree meeting, uh, not on Sunday, uh, like any, any, any day in the, uh, during week, weekdays, if you guys are available, then uh, you can just let Saba know that uh, you want that, then I can uh, set up a tutorial session who are very new in this uh, field because there are a lot of things to know. Um, so don't don't feel lost. We are here to help you. Uh, and one of the uh, important things I'm, I'm mentioning again and again, when you use uh, JAXA's uh, website, use preliminary round simulator because JAXA sent me email several times. Uh, so I'm telling you again and again, use preliminary round simulator 2.1 version. And, and the local environment, if somebody has local environment, whatever you do, I don't care. Uh, but Local simulator, you have, you have to understand, local simulator will not give you real score. Uh, it is just for your practice, um, and uh, it is good for learning. So, the, I, I, like uh, last, week, uh, last time we had a homework. Every meeting we have, uh, we announce homework. So. Uh, I don't want you to feel uh, like stress, uh, but little stress is good. If you don't have stress, you'll not do anything. You have to have stress. In my life, I have a lot of stress. I have my family. I have to do my work. Here's a COVID uh, uh, disease everywhere. Uh, so, and a uh, lot of things. Uh, stress every. You cannot. You cannot avoid your stress. So in in the programming in this uh, like uh, advanced programming, this is really advanced programming. This is not simple, uh, but don't get confused. When I say advanced and it's not uh, simple, I'm saying only for Kibo RPC program. But when I say STEMX platform in the future. We'll try to make it very user friendly. Drag and drop. The people who doesn't know programming will make it drag and drop. And behind the scene, all the coding will be created. And you guys will learn from there. But Kibo RPC is actually very advanced uh, robotics programming. And it should not be simple. But we'll try to, we're trying to make it easier by collaborating, by helping each other. Each other. So um, to help you guys better, you guys need to fill up feedback form, feedback and progress form, which is very important. If you don't do that, and we will we, not know what is your problem. Um, like I, I saw that some uh, mentioned that they don't have any uh, previous experience, which is great. So we can create our program according to uh, your, according to the feedback. Um, and then a uh, preliminary, uh, preliminary round simulator, uh, we can check, if you use JAXA's uh, website, we can check your progress and score. Uh, if you don't use it, then we don't know who is doing what. Uh, so it is very important. Use JAXA's website, preliminary round simulator. And I'm saying it again, score and progress is very important because that way I can make a decision whether you guys can go to the uh, first competition in December. Okay, so then just keep going. Um, don't feel lost and don't, don't get frustrated. And honestly, a little frustration, little um, stress will make you successful. So don't uh, feel bad about it. 
and uh, if you have any question i like you to communicate through slack i will not an answer any question if i see email in email or uh, verbal right now i would like to see in slack you guys will be using slack and um, that way it will force you to use slack so i am i am i'm very clear about it okay i'm not hiding anything the reason i'm asking you to use slack i'm forcing you to collaborate and um, ask question when you ask question in slack we don't see you and you don't have to feel shy you can ask any question stupid question or smart question it doesn't matter ask questions and when i when i'll see that you guys have a lot of communication with slack then i will do all the verbal uh, questions and answering okay now i'll uh, end over this presentation presentation to saba not really. We're going to ask you guys questions now using the poll software. Answer the questions. That would be great. Yeah, please go to the site polev.com for a slide STEMX 365 and try to answer these questions. If you're having any problems, you can write it in the chat. We can hear. Robin says we cannot hear you. Oh, we can't hear me. Oh, okay. Thanks, Robin. Can, can you hear, hear me better now? Uh, yes, but twice. Great. Okay. All right. So I think these are all the answers we're going to get for now. So okay. what's the what's the right answer here? What is the right answer? Most of you said 3.4.1. Some of you said the other versions. Uh, your voice properly because we are, we are oh, listening coming twice. Okay. I'm coming twice because your microphone is also on. I'm going to mute myself. Okay. So what is the right answer? Anyone can speak up. Anyone can speak up. Great. I'd like to see uh, hear from others. Good. Thank you so much. Uh, Saba did a very good job to prepare this. This way, uh, I want you to memorize these things. And don't forget, 3.4.1 for Android version. That will help you. Um, I, I hate to memorize these things, but it is not like uh, regular memorizing. It's just a uh, um, it will help you 
in the future, if you if somebody asks you, can you set up uh, Android for S two B? You right uh, right away you can help. Okay, this is the version you need, and uh, that uh, it will be very helpful. Thank you. So next question. Next question. All right, one second. Right, you should be able to see it now. What version of the SDK tool should be used in Android Studio? Yeah, I got one answer. Can, can they see the question? And I like to hear from others. I see this four or five uh, students on the Slack. What about others? Are they having trouble accessing the... Good. Oh, are they having trouble? Maybe. Maybe some... Is it not working? Okay, well, they answered it there. Okay, good. <laughs> let Great. Me, let, me, let me fix it here. It's improving. That's good. Right. Hmm? Yeah. You gave the right answer. Right answer. Oh my God! You guys are be better than me. <laughs> oh, I should with the hell uh, having trouble. Oh, having trouble. Oh, okay. Um, I. Trouble facing Ahmed Alif. Got it. Okay. Let me see. This. So this is the first time we're using it. So. Give oh, does he not? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think something happened. Let me see. Oh, uh, I don't know why I changed to this. Okay, that should help. Let's see if you guys can see it now. Yeah, it is supposed to let everyone answer, but it's a little finicky sometimes. No, it's fine. It's fine. Great. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I'll get better at this, I promise. Okay, it is saying it's saying no. Okay. Good. Awesome. So it seems like they know which yeah, platform. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. We Thank you so on much. To the next question. Oh, facing trouble. Okay, I will fix it for the next question. Let me see. You guys should be able to see this one. Great. Okay. Which version of Python do you need for Rust Python? Okay. Oh my God. Really? 2.7? I mean, it seems like it's 2.7. Oh, okay. I don't know. <laughs> okay. If uh, I mean, Python 3 is also a really good one, option, two, right? three, so four, five. <laughs> five students said 2.7, so I and have to believe it. 80% huh? on the poll. 80% uh, on the, in the poll said 2.7, so, so I have to believe it. So which one is it? Yeah, ROS2 suppers 3. But in this, we'll be using, yeah. Okay. okay. Let's bring that. You guys know, know a lot. So, okay, we can go to the next question. No, but no, no, answer these first. Some people use, they use three, Python two, which else? So explain this a little more. Why? Yeah, so, um, Okay, Saba is forcing me to answer this question. <laughs> well, it's because, it's, it's because okay, so we have we have three point uh, three Python three and Python uh, two point seven. Python three is uh, uh, better than uh, two point seven sometime, but I sometimes I hate Python three. Because <laughs> Python two point seven is a lot better in some cases. It's more stable. Uh, so uh, in uh, in the Jaxes. Um, simulation standalone simulation uh we recommend 2.7 so there um 
you can use 3 point but it is your responsibility uh, but we recommend to use 2.7 Good. Okay. Next question. So which version of the simulator should be using? Great. One answer. I would like to say at least five. Good. Mehdi said 201. Two, wow. 201. <laughs> oh no. Okay. <laughs> 2.1. Good. Great. Okay. So it looks like everyone knows which version to use. We only said it a hundred times, right? <laughs> okay, okay. Good. Thank you. Next. Cool, we have a few answers. Great. Yep. So, Ms. Answer, can you tell me a little bit about why the other versions aren't good? Because they developed using 16.4. They have 18.4 version, but we will not be using that. Why? For JAXA, because the version that we use uh, s to be software mm -hmm. it is three point some version so that doesn't support 16. oh he said so the name mentioned i think the, does not work. i think the poll is working for some people and not working for others i'm really sorry about that but if it's not working for you you can write it in the chat too. We, we are also seeing that, so that's also okay. Um, I don't, right now, I don't know how to fix it, but I can see it on my screen. Um, but if you can use it, please keep using it. If you can't, write it in the chat and I will try to troubleshoot it for next time, okay? Um, okay, so. Um, okay. As to be, latest as to be supports 18.404 also but uh, to make other things like subsystems actually i'm talking uh, this for advanced users i'll be talking very simple way the software that uh, we're using uh, for s to b it supports everything like subsystem, like uh, subsystem we have uh, management, uh, like cameras, sensor, all this uh, to work, we use subsystems. Uh, it's written in C++. So if you use the 18.4, it will work, but you cannot, we cannot guarantee that everything will work. Every, still under testing, so safest, uh, one to operating system is the 16.04 that has been tested uh, almost 95 percent you can say still there are a lot of issues um, even with 16.4 so our target is to finish 16.4 first make it solid then we can jump on 18.4 18.04 and also jacks backend supports 16.04 not 18.04 so you have to, if you're gonna mimic their system you use 16.04 in the standalone yeah they're developing um 18.04 the work there that we are working uh, for nasa and the in the mit system lab also, we are working on 16.04. Okay. Next question. Hopefully that makes sense. All right. What is the core of Linux? Yeah. So I would like to see some answer. Wait. 
wait to change it to just slider 10. I don't know. It's really weird. I shouldn't do that. Okay. I will fix this, guys. Um, and you know what? If it asks you to log in, um, may I ask all of you guys to make an account for next time? Because I think that's one of the issues. So you don't have to do it today, but like next time, can you make an account on this website? So, okay. Oh, you guys are able to answer it now. All right. Good. Okay, so we have a variety of answers. I mean, it looks like bash is the right answer. Because, mo okay, well now it looks like kernel is the right answer. Great. Okay. Now I see. <laughs> kernel is okay. going up. Good. Okay, so Thasneem asked, can you explain this question? So can you ask, can you explain a little more? What, is, what does this question mean? What are you asking? So the Linux system, the build, using the uh, like linux is the you can say the user friendly layer for uh, unix so in unix uh, the core uh, like operating system like you have in the operating system what do you have uh, drivers like it, in, in the operating system is nothing but drivers you have so many drivers in the uh, operating system like how you uh, run your uh, like um, cd player how you run uh, your programming how you learn, uh, run your uh, like networking so many things inside the international uh, sorry inside the uh, operating system so you write drivers um, in uh, mostly in c so that drivers stays in the kernel uh, layer so the linux developer they created another layer which is very user friendly uh, to use uh, to make our life easier so that that's why it says linux is the core is the kernel like it is top of kernel is that is that clear to you does that make sense we can talk uh, more in detail about kernel uh, in the future, but um, yeah, kernel consists of various module and it interacts directly with underlying hardware. That's a, yeah. So uh, this is the right answer. So uh, like I said, we call a uh, module or drivers and under the driver, like um, how I'll say that, for example, you have TV. So when you communicate with the TV, you have a remote control. And remote control, you see all the buttons, uh, channel, or the volume. Inside the remote control, you have actual implementation, actual uh, mechanism, which is basically software and hardware. We don't see that. It has cover, and inside the, inside the box, all the stuff, like hardware, software is there. So in the Linux also, when user communicate with, uh, with the actual hardware, like uh, you have CD player, you have a network uh, card, you have sound card, everything. When you communicate, you communicate through those drivers or modules. So you can write driver for um, accessing uh, like other uh, hardware. So these are the all drivers stays in the kernel layers. And Linux, they created another layer which is very user friendly. I'm saying uh, user friendly because they made it very uh, like easy for us to use the driver. Um, like mostly when when you say user friendly, like you when you uh, say uh, Astro B in the future it will say okay Astro B move from this place to that place. Ah, so this is like our language, a regular language. You're not writing. Oh, uh, var this then uh, coding. You don't have to do this. It's just a uh, has to be moved from this place to that place. So it is more user friendly. See, in the same way, in the Linux, they added another layer to make it more user friendly, so that you can write code easily. 
to interact with the hardware. All right, hopefully that makes sense. Um, so it looks like now 100% of you So are I you. want you in the team, every single student, go back and uh, read the answer because this these are the questions we added based on our program. We will be adding more questions yeah. which will help you to uh, do the programming or s Yeah, and I can send you these questions and answers too later if you'd like. Okay, so um, next question. Yeah, we're going to move on. And I don't know why it keeps telling me this. Okay, hopefully they can see it now. So uh, what is export used in Linux? Wow, that's good. Yeah, actually, when I was little uh, in our country, there uh, it was very uh, regular uh, business. If you ask somebody, they say, "What do you do?" I do export, export, import. <laughs> so that was a regular business. A lot of people did a lot of export, import, like uh, importing cars, exporting jute. Um, so that is uh, another export. But in the Linux world, export, uh, we use export. Uh, I'll talk about it later. So export, I uh, see uh, most answer to set the environment variable, which is, I think, sounds, mm -hmm. sounds true, huh? Setting environment variable? Sounds like it. OK, I think so, yeah. Great. Thank you. Okay. I'm very happy so, that you guys are very smart. I'm proud of you guys. Question, let me see. Okay, so I think we're good. So in Linux and Windows also has directory. We like in Windows you have desktop, recycle bin, so many home different uh, directories. And when we store our uh, information like uh, Word document or email, we we organize everything in our way. Uh, same thing in the Linux system, they organize things. Um, like their configuration file, uh, there are some data file, different thing. Uh, Linux is very organized. So question is which directory contains configuration files in Linux? Uh, the reason I put this question, this is very, very important for your s programming um, so you need to know where uh, it's not only s to be any programming in Linux if there somebody says configuration file which directory will uh, try first I see one uh, I think one It looks like there's a lot of yeah there are a lot of answers looks like a uh, root is the highest answer mm -hmm. uh, root sounds very uh, like oh my god root you put root in root root access we usually don't uh, give access to the root directory So it will be something else. It should be something else. Try a little more. OK, it's improving. Improving. Yeah, 
improving. I can see one th one is improving. Okay, it is improving. <laughs> Great. We call it HC. That's a good question. HC is the directory where we put configuration file. What is configuration file? Uh, that is another question. Eh? Yeah. So, okay, we will talk about configuration from later. But configuration file we put under HC. So this is the actually uh, in the future we'll be teaching like, like this way. Like you'll uh, learn things if maybe you'll feel like oh simple questions but it's not simple this is very useful things you always use I don't think yeah so uh, hc is the right answer thank you so much for your trying so we'll go to the next question i think that was a good question because yeah. a lot of people thought it was rude so even yeah. if it's a simple question it's it's not that easy okay so let me why, why don't you read it out and then I can Okay, which file do we use to ma map the domain to IP address in Linux? In Linux, okay. Oh my God. Okay. I get, okay, I get about, uh, oh, 50-50. 50-50, is that right? <laughs> <laughs> is that host or hosts? Host S or ho host? <laughs> I think hosts sounds better, huh? You write so many hosts. Yeah, host usually, name there. there's usually multiple hosts, right? Yeah. So hosts, I, it is same in the window also. Uh, Windows is uh, no, it is going down. Actually, it should be H C H O S T S. Okay, it should be H O S T S because you'll be writing in that file. You can write multiple, like for example, um, um, in the Linux termin terminal, if we write um, something like, um, let's say, www.robin.com. And I would like to use some I, a specific IP, ad, IP address. So what I what we do in that file, we write domain name, which is www.robin.com, then a space, the IP address. So you can write local IP address, local IP address, um, usually, I, I, I think it should be a question also. <laughs> yeah. So local IP address is, uh, do you know what is local IP address? Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Thank you, Ravin. Thank you, uh, uh Thank you. Thank you, Razin. Um, yeah. Okay. So you can say, okay, uh, www.ravin.com uh, space. 127.0.0.1. So then you can, uh, it will automatically hit your local um, IP address. Uh, we can show the example in the future. This is an important question. Okay, should you reformat QR code data before sending the value to the simulator for scoring?
Who said yes? Okay, it is going down. Yes, going down, which is good. Raw value, yes. Okay, good. <laughs> Raw value. Okay. That's great. Okay. So, um, we'll go to the next next question. Well, tell them what the right answer is. Is it no? Right answer uh, is no. We, yeah, you th don't that's read the, format. That's the, you send the raw value. Yeah. Yes. Raw value, which is, they found their answer already. Yeah, but you know, we, we, you have to confirm it. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Okay, this is an open-ended question. This is open-ended question. So everybody's uh, approach different. So I'd like to hear from you if you have any compiling error in the Android Studio. What are the steps you take to figure out? You can write it in the chat or in the box. I think um, first you both. first you throw your bottle, huh? <laughs> you throw your water bottle. Water bottle. Oh, no, someone said search Stack Overflow. Yeah, that's where I usually go when I have problems. That is very good site. That's a great site. It has saved me so many times. <laughs> yeah, good. First check, Gradle version. What version do you use? Search on Google. Yes. <laughs> no, you have to be specific for hand ruby development yeah at first check the log log is very important i i like that log is very important everything you do web application or programming log is the right place to uh, know about the application but if you have library problem gradle version or something uh, usually uh, it is hard to find so you have to know when you develop you'll see um, log and if you see the uh, some library is not available or something is not found uh, first step to see okay is there any uh, dependency uh, problem like in a gradle we we provide information okay i need I, to compile this, uh, when you say compile, what is what that mean? Like we write code, we then compile. Because if you don't compile, then machine will not understand what you're talking about. So we compile to make it machine readable code. So when you compile, you need some other help. You need uh, like, uh, when we, uh, like for a STEM uh, project, uh, we are helping each other. Huh? So in the, in the programming compiling also, when you compile, you need help, you need libraries. So where do you uh, define the libraries? You define in the Gradle um, uh, file. In the Gradle, you say, okay, I need this, this library to compile this. So if somebody, uh, some library is missing, then you have problem. That's the problem. And also, uh, if the version doesn't match, you have problem. And uh, sometimes uh, you your Gradle file is looks, uh, looks good, but your Gradle version is different. So you have to make sure all the information are right. And uh, usually we read programming manual, and you have to follow the programming manual, although there are a uh, lot of errors I'm hearing in the programming, programming, programming manual, sorry. And um, um, I, I did my S2B uh, environment um, also. I didn't go through a programming manual. I uh, just um, used uh, the like S2B site 
and also the our uh, experience. So I didn't um, quite uh, went through that programming manual, and I am uh, seeing that you guys found some issues with the programming manual. And please try to share with us. Then we can improve that programming manual, and we can make our Stemx three sixty five version of programming manual. Um, so to make it make your life easier programming programming manual is the right place to start okay uh, you see error okay what it says in the program for now the uh, make a checklist okay these are the things i need these are the uh, uh, location i have to export and memory variable these are the um, uh, version for android um, uh, studio this is for sdk this is for uh, adb all the kind of stuff everything when um, set then if we still find problem then it is uh, like you can either search Google or Stackflow or if nothing works what do you do it goes slack Mizan sir I have problem please help me okay so um, that's all. Um, have an answer, a uh, question oh, yeah, answer. That's, that's all our questions. Okay. What else? Oh, well, yeah. They can. Uh, okay. Do they have what any, is next? Do they have any questions? Wait. Okay. So, let's talk to them. Yes. Now you can speak to them further. I thought we had, uh, you had another slide? No, it's just the last, um, just this. Okay, so, uh, yeah, just split that. Okay, anyway, so um, there's another slide which Saba made for you guys to encourage you. Okay, be the future. So what that means? Hear me? Yeah, they can hear you. Okay, um, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay, so to lead the future generation, good. So, um, this slide I have like uh, 10 more minutes. We can talk if you have any questions or suggestions or anything we can discuss. Oh, one thing I would like to discuss, like we have uh, in the Slack, we have fun chat, mm -hmm. which is very important. I would like to see you guys do some fun stuff. You can share pictures. Uh, share pictures, share anything like uh, how you're feeling. Uh, how you're feeling and also, uh, try to help other people to follow the instruction for uh, COVID related, wear mask, stay six feet from each other. Those are the things. And uh, you can um, share your music, art, whatever you like, uh, because this is uh, actually a fun place. So, do we have any questions or suggestions? You can speak out and I would like to hear your voice. I think they want to see you. Uh, sir, I'm going to ask you, sir. I'm going to ask you, sir. 
যে আমার কাছে অনেক সময় বিভিন্ন ইমেল আসছে বা মেসেঞ্জারে অনেকে মেসেজ করছে যে যে স্ট্যান্ড অ্যালোন যে প্ল্যাটফর্মটার ব্যাপারে তো ওটার ব্যাপারে আমি যদি একটু অ্যাড করতে চাই এরকম যে স্ট্যান্ড অ্যালোন প্ল্যাটফর্মটা যেটা সেটা হলো গিয়ে কমপ্লিটলি নাসার ওই মডিউলের আলোকে তৈরি করা তো জ্যাক্সা যেটা করেছে জ্যাক্সা তাদের কিবো মডিউলের হিসেব অনুযায়ী এই পুরোটা অ্যারেঞ্জ করেছে তো প্রতি বছর যেহেতু দুটো করে এই প্রোগ্রাম হবে কম্পিটিশন হবে তো এই কম্পিটিশন ওয়াইজ প্রত্যেকবার এই ইয়েগুলো চেঞ্জ হবে প্যাটার্নগুলো চেঞ্জ হবে এবং কম্পিটিশনের রুল তারপরে কিউ আর কোডের জায়গায় অন্য কিউ আর কোড বা ডিফারেন্ট ডিফারেন্ট প্লেসে নেভিগেট করা বা ডিফারেন্ট ডিফারেন্ট অবস্টাকেল অ্যাড করা এই ধরনের জিনিসগুলো অ্যাড হবে তো যদি সবাই ফোকাস করে মোর অন লার্নিং রেদার দ্যান ইমপ্লিমেন্টিং তাহলে যেটা হবে যে তারা পরবর্তীতে আরও যে কম্পিটিশনের যে প্রতি বছর দুটো করে হয় তো সেই কম্পিটিশনগুলোতে অত ভালো করতে পারবে না আর কি তো আমার মনে হয় যে সবাই যে কোয়েশ্চেনটা আমাকে মেসেঞ্জারে বা ইমেলে করতেছে সেটার পারফেক্ট অ্যান্সার হলো যে বারবার করে একটু একটু চেঞ্জ করে আবার আপলোড করা বারবার আমাদের সিমুলেটারটা ইউজ করা ট্রাই করা যে যতটা সম্ভব আমরা সিমুলেটারটা ইউজ করি আমরা স্ট্যান্ড অ্যালোন প্ল্যাটফর্মটা ইউজ না করি কারণ ওটা জাস্ট একটা খেলার জন্য জাস্ট টু মোটিভেট ইউর সেলফ বাট ইটস নট ফর দ্য কম্পিটিশন পারপাস I I totally agree with you and thanks for your input. I totally agree with you and that's why I mentioned several times that we'll take almost 200% advantage of Jax's uh, simulator, web, online web, uh, web simulator, um, uh, until August 18. So we don't have much time, so please try to use that. That way you can see yourself, you can say, okay, how much score I have, how can I improve, and um, that will help you. Thank you, Argo. Sir, I want to add to you, I want to add to you, I want to add to you, I want to add to the leaderboard, 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 যেহেতু তারা এখনো আপলোড করেনি তো সেক্ষেত্রে যারা একটু ভয় পাচ্ছে বা যারা এটা এটা আপলোড করতে একটু দ্বিধান্বিত হচ্ছে তো তাদেরকে জাস্ট একটু বলা যেতে পারে যে প্রোগ্রামিং ম্যানুয়ালটা না দেখে ফার্স্টে দেখা উচিত হলো গাইড বুকটা গাইড বুকে সবাই একটু দেখতে পাবে যে পুরো সিমুলেশন স্পেসটার কোথায় কিউ আর কোড বা এয়ার কোড এয়ার ট্যাগ বা ওই যেখানে লেজারটা পয়েন্ট আউট করতে হবে সেই জায়গাগুলোর সব ইয়েগুলো দেওয়া আছে মানে এক্সাক্ট লোকেশনগুলো দেওয়া আছে তো আমাদেরকে সেই পয়েন্টগুলোতে নেভিগেট করতে হবে তো এই হ্যাঁ তো এই ধরনের কিছু জিনিস এই নেভিগেট করার সময় আমাদেরকে যে এপিআইগুলো ইউজ করতে হবে সেই এপিআইগুলো আমাদের প্রোগ্রামিং ম্যানুয়ালে দেওয়া আছে যেমন ছবি তোলা বা কিউ আর কোডের ছবি তোলা দেন ওটা রিপোর্ট করা প্রত্যেকটা স্টেজে এক একটা করে রিপোর্ট করার উপর আর কি মার্কিং যে কাজটা ঠিক মতো হলো কি saying uh, this thing this is these are very important and we have we have to have uh, a lead like Argo and other uh, other uh, lead also um, to uh, help the team to give the guidance what what they should do uh, but in the first phase first we we try to see the enthusiasm okay I would like I wanted to see the how uh, enthusiastic our students like uh, uh, so i see yeah there are a lot of interest they want to try uh, stand alone and which is which is very great <clears throat> but 
from today until August 18. We have to follow, we have to use our time very uh, carefully. We have to use our uh, online simulator and like Olga mentioned that we need to uh, read the guidebook again and again. We'll try to um, improve this uh, by like the way Saba did. Um, the question and answer that will help them to understand and memorize things uh, visually in their brain that QR code or ear code um, those are things they need to practice because in the future like you said uh, they will change their use case their game uh, rapidly so you have to um, have everything in your memory as a visual uh, visually not uh, other memory like you uh, we used to do in school uh, i'm talking about visual memory uh, so the way we have question and answer now i think now uh, today uh, i i think most students know what is the linux core uh, i think everybody can answer a uh, kernel uh, and what is the version of android so those are things need to go in their brain so that they don't have to struggle much so um well, it's great. So we'll have educator. Uh, we'll try to make it uh, faster as soon as possible. So uh, I think we'll make it better. Argo, thank you for your input. Any any other any other comments, questions? And also, oh, sorry, I forgot to mention. I'm really really sorry. Uh, we have a, a demo video from Sudipto about a uh, standalone um, setup. Uh, we didn't show this in this meeting because this is not important now. Um, this will be important uh, after eight, August 18. So I would like you to uh, use um, Japanese web simulator and don't uh, spend time setting your standalone. Uh, if you have any question about that, you can ask. I, I'll try to answer that question, but uh, I, I would like you to agree with me that we'll be using JAX's uh, web simulator, which is very important if you want to see your score. Is that is that clear to you guys? OK, so silent. Uh, Okay, okay, sorry. Yeah, okay, so you guys agree with me. Uh, uh, honestly, you don't have to agree with me on every single thing. Uh, if, you, if you feel like, oh, this is not right, like Olgo mentioned, okay, we have to do this, we have to do that, which is, which is really good. Uh, but yeah, uh, I see you guys say yes, yes, uh, which is actually, honestly, it is, it is, uh, it is the right approach because we have to use their simulator. Um, and in the meantime, uh, before uh, August 18, we'll try to set up another session to sh show the demo which uh, Shudipta did. And then you'll be uh, able to set up your own environment. Like uh, I really liked Shudipta's video. He mentioned so many uh, issues with the programming uh, manual and um, uh, struggling with installation struggle is good and uh, when you struggle you learn more um, but uh, uh, you, the rest of the uh, that who will be using that demo for uh, future installation uh, you'll struggle less um, but it will help you a lot 
to set up your own environment. But again, uh, by following video is not always less struggle. Uh, you'll be struggling even if you follow the uh, video. Yeah. So don't worry, you'll learn more. And again, my request, humble request to you, use Slack as much as possible, use feedback form, and lastly, don't get frustrated. We'll get there. Our main goal is what? To make Bangladesh in the top 10 list in December competition. And we have, we'll have very good educators like who can help you in every aspect. Our plan is to have educators like one expert in Astrobe, one expert in programming, one expert in uh, Android Studio installation, one expert in uh, like uh, other uh, things. So we'll try our best to make it better. Thank you. So we will let you know when the next meeting is. We haven't scheduled it just yet, but I will send you um, an announcement.